Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you two, that's right, two OU battles. Uh, the first one is against my silver PSP. I go ahead and lead off with Hydreigon. He leads off with uh, Stigolf. He's obviously going to want to switch out. I predict that. Go for the uh, Draco Meteor. And I was like, wow, that didn't do anything. And I was really surprised about that. And now I hear I do Earthquake against Dreadagon. I was like, I know Dreadagon is bulky, but how is it taking those hits so well and yet dishing out so much damage to me? I mean, look at that. After a rough skin and Rocky Helmet, that's basically a one-hit KO. And look how you know, he KO'd me with a non-stab Sucker Punch. Plus, he outsped somehow with that Earthquake. So I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Um, long story short, I ran the calcs, and it was quite clear after running just a few calcs that he was running 252 EVs on every single one of his Pokemon, and that is why this battle went the way that it did. Uh, I just really couldn't believe him. I mean, he was using RU pokes, and he was, you know, we were going neck and neck for a while, and, you know, he was taking these hits so well, my Pokemon were hitting, uh, were getting hit so hard, and I just was like, what the hell was going on? But yeah, 252 EVs on every step. That's the only way to explain it. Uh, I, it actually took some convincing um, to show him that this was the case. I had to run counts on every single non-trivial move in the game to show that the only way this match made any sort of sense was that he'd done that. And he basically said, okay, I think I know what happened. He was using an AR code that he didn't realize what it did. Uh, and yeah, I, I, the unfortunate byproduct was 252 EVs in every stat. I guess he didn't, it was probably one of those silly codes that you use when you don't want to actually EV train your Pokemon and you want flawless stats. Um, or EV Trainer Breed, or RNG, and whatnot, so yeah. Um, I am still posting this battle anyway, because why the hell not? I've posted battles that have 252, yeah, I mean, okay, so look at this. Uh, super effective stab, specs, uh, Shadow Ball does not, uh, KO Sigilith, and Sigilith was hitting so freaking hard, uh, with all of its other attacks, so yeah, I mean, it, it was just a ridiculous match, and actually, after this battle, uh, I don't think I ever had another battle with it. I haven't had another battle with this team yet because I was so despondent. I was like, what have I done? What the heck? How could it have gone so poorly? And how could I have screwed up in the, you know, in the play testing and the um, team building process so badly to, you know, do so poorly against a team of basically RU Pokemon? And, I mean, yeah, it's, I really shouldn't have felt that bad because it really does matter if your opponent, opponent attacks like that. So, um, again, you know, don't flame my silver PSP, it was an honest mistake, um, but yeah, that is why this battle happened the way it did, and that is why I'm posting a second battle up after uh, you know, this one on the same battle video, and um, it's why I'm playing this battle at 400% speed. So anyway, that's the end of that battle. Let's go on to the main attraction for today. There's a battle against This Be Happy, who I met through the AAX Zat. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah, went through the AAX Zat, and, um, you know, I was looking for a battle. I was looking for a good battle. I basically was like, this was back uh, before I posted my battle number 100. I was originally going to post a battle with this team for battle number 100 number 100 and it just didn't uh you know work out and i was like come on i need someone to have an epic battle with and this guy was like yeah sure i haven't battled in a really long time but um yeah sure i mean i actually haven't played gen 5 much so uh yeah so unfortunately he led off with his doug trio and trapped and outsped my uh infernape and was able to ko it and so that's really going to screw me over i mean look at his team he's got terrakion he's got uh he's He's got uh, Tyranitar, he's got Scissor, he's got, I mean, he's basically this entire team is weak to Infernape, except for his, um, Doug Trio. Anyway, Selby versus Selby, he's running some kind of support set, it looks like, so I'm hoping he doesn't carry the Hidden Power Fire, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch out here, go into Uchikoma, uh, I do have my rocks up, so I figured that should help me a little bit, uh, so he just goes for the Thunder Wave again, uh, expecting me to switch out, yeah, he actually kept on going for the Thunder Waves, uh, this is now three in a row, uh, Uchikoma isn't gonna mind being paralyzed, really, I mean, it's not gonna mind being paralyzed, like, say, my Crobat would mind being paralyzed, anyway! Either that's Hidden Power Ground, or he actually did carry the Hidden Power Fire, I was really surprised by that. Uh, actually, based on how this battle goes, I'm gonna guess that it was actually Hidden Power Ground after all. Anyway, I get the Freeze Hacks against the Celebi, I'm like, oh wow, you know, I never hope for Freeze Hacks, but in this case, I kinda needed it. Uh, I mean, I'm really not doing too well in this battle already, and it's, it's really early in this battle. So, uh, he has his scissor, his banded scissor, almost certainly go for the U-turn. Just a 
crap ton of damage. Out now is going to come to Selby. I know it carries that hidden power, hit, that super effective hidden power, so I'm going to want to switch out on this next turn. Really hoping that, well actually no, I'm not going to want to switch out because at that range of health I'm thinking, okay, I know I'm paralyzed, I know I'd probably die to a hidden power, but if I can KO it with bullet punch, it'll be awesome. Unfortunately, he survives on a sliver of HP. I don't think that was even like min damage or anything. I think that was just the way things go. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so... <laughs> My poor, poor little Metagross Paralyzed is getting Parahacks more often than not, and yeah, it's just not a good situation for me, and his Selby is up to full HP. Uh, he's gonna go for the uh, Hidden Power again, it's super effective, it's luckily, you know, not doing that much, I am taking a few of those hits, I get the Freeze Hacks again, what the hell is up with this crazy ass game, this crazy RNG, uh, I mean this is just insane, two Freeze Hacks in a row. Um, now out, he's going to just switch out into, um, his, yeah, edit, I mean, this is just obvious. Um, anyway, here I make a huge mistake. Unfortunately, my uh, Stella Luna is a, it's a special set, but it does not carry the, um, it does not carry the Heat Wave. I was really hope uh, at one point it carried Heat Wave, but I figured, eh, I've got enough fire on this team, I don't need Heat Wave. Uh, had I carried Heatwave, I could have just KO'd right off the bat. Instead, he's gonna take me out with two bullet punches. I was hoping that, you know, after a nasty putt, I could take him out with Hidden Power Ground. But yeah, no. Um, <laughs> that's not how this went. So now, finally, I'm just gonna come to Sairantar. Yeah, he did all that stuff with no sand up. Uh, so now I go for the Surf. Now, this was kind of interesting. He told me later he had no idea what this, uh, Pokemon was. Uh, I was like, it's a Jellison, and he's like, I've never seen one before, I'm like, oh, well, I mean, it's gonna explain a lot of his moves, he does go for the Crunch, I guess he figured it was Ghost, or maybe I told him that it was Water Ghost, um, but, yeah, he goes for the Crunch, I figured that Celebi could take it anyway, because Celebi is a, uh, physical, um, you know, physical wall, and it's, uh, EV trained to outspeed, jolly, max speed, Tyranitar, um, so I go for the Seed Bomb, hoping to get the KO, unfortunately he predicts that goes into Scissor, and even though I've got Rocks up, I mean, Scissor's not gonna really, I don't really mind those too much. I'm gonna go for the Recovery here, expecting him to go for, I don't know, but nothing that would be good. Uh, he goes for the Pursuit, so I guess I'm glad that I didn't, I'm definitely glad I didn't switch out, but it's not like I can do anything else, so, uh, Celebi is dead, only thing I can do is go for the Heal Bell, get rid of Uchikoma's Paralysis, and, you know, that way Celebi does something useful before it dies. Poor Celebi, uh, you know, thanks for doing what you did this battle. Uh, anyway, I've got my Hydreigon out, uh, switch is obvious, uh, I'm gonna lock myself into Draco Meteor, expecting the switch, uh, and so now he's gonna know he can send out, well, I, I was actually a little bit confused by this, but then again, you know, it, it can take it, considering. Uh, it's got the special... Uh, he's actually probably Scarfed and would outspeed me, so that's probably what's going on. So I'm expecting the Scarf. He goes for the close combat based on the fact that he switched. I'm almost certain he's Scarfed. So now I have Ringo just go for the Surf. I really wish I'd predict... I was actually predicting Scissor to come out. That's what was going on. I was predicting Scissor to come out or him to stay in, or maybe go into Tyranitar. Had I gone for the Shadow Ball or the um, Ice Beam, I could have taken out that Celebi, but... Uh, anyway. Uh, he, he goes for the recover, luckily does not go for the T-Wave on the switch. Um, yeah, or I guess he could have gone, I was actually kind of predicting him to go for a Grass-type move. Um, but yeah, so here I go for the Draco Meteor, just hoping to get the KO, and that guy, the Celebi is a bulky, bulky bastard, and is not going to get KO'd. Instead, he's going to paralyze me, and now I've got a paralyzed Hy Scarfed Hydreigon. Uh, I mean, it's a shade above useless, but it's still pretty darn useless. Uh, it's, it's appeal really lies in its speed. Hydreigon is really kind of an inferior dragon compared to a lot of these others. Anyway, I was just hoping that maybe he would go for an attack this next turn and not go for the recover. Of course he's gonna go for the recover. Why wouldn't he go for the recover? Gonna have to switch out. I mean, you know, I don't want to just sack this thing. I'm gonna go out into Uchikoma, uh, 77 HP is really not that great. He's gonna go for the recover and, you know, what, unless I get a crit on Ice Punch, even with a crit on Ice Punch, I'm actually amazed at how much, the, how bulky the Celebi is and how hard it's hitting. I guess it's not hitting that hard considering um, Hidden Power is super effective, and it, you know, it was only doing about 77, so Uchikoma dies, uh, I needed to death bot or someone, um, and that's just, that's just too bad. Anyway, gonna send Ringo back out, and here I go for a really epic move. Hego has, this just shows you that he doesn't really know uh, what, 
um, this guy is. Uh, I go for the Shadow Ball, and it would have KO'd either of his Pokemon, and I take out his Latios, so hey, a dead Latios means happy times for me. I have, you know, two KOs in my name, so that at least this isn't a body bag. Hey, at least it's not a body bag. Um, Ringo is now going to get taken out. Uh, crit didn't matter, whatever. I'm down to my last Pokemon, which is uh, Moon, and he's going to go for the Pursuit. It's resisted. Uh, I get fully paralyzed. It's like, oh, you can't even let me 6-3 this guy. I was really hoping to get a Fire Blast off KO and, you know level the playing field a little bit. But anyway, that's the game. Hope you folks enjoyed this battle. Uh, these two battles actually. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.